was a river that was born the peat, near the summit of a hella covered hill, where a stray wind rushing through the remains of last year's dry brown bracken was the only other sound to break the still. Then a late bird in the sky would have one long lonely cry as he winged his way down from the evening sun. And there was nothing there to say that man had ever been that way. And that's how it looked when the history began. But it wasn't always so. Just two centuries ago, miners walked on the Penning Hills. Ponies trudged the moor and land tracks with heavy loads upon their backs, taking lead off the distant mills. City gents weren't so daft, found lead ore and sunk a shaft. They knew the world was hungry for that lead. Aye, and hired men to work on top, make a wheel, a forge, a shop, and a honest water from the river bed. Country lads from all around set their wives to till the ground and went to seek their fortunes, mine and lead. Walked and slept and ate in shifts, lost their health in deep, dark drifts, and found the life of drudgery instead. But if the miner's path was stone, spare a kind thought for the pony, who really felt his luck was on the shelf, driven all day along the track, with sixteen stone upon his back, then puddled on the snow, and mind he sell. Push the outcrops, the veins to find, slopes and levels and tunnels wind, then the iron rails began to span the hills, Deep in sykes and gills, smoke and steam amongst them hills, new men, machine and skills. But all things change without a doubt, and eventually that lead war ran out. The industry went on a downward course, and all that's left of it today are a few old ruins along the way, and a photo of a Nova old horse. Thank <laughs> you.